Travis Wayne Goodsell. I just uploaded my uh, news report for the LDS Church's canceling of the MTCs. Uh, I noticed there were two Mormons upset that the wrath of the Mormon God is going to close down the church conference. And now they need to watch this. <laughs> General Conference is also a part of the news report breaking from the LDS Church on the uh, Church of Jesus Christ dot org site uh, their church newsroom so newsroom dot church of Jesus Christ dot org uh, and it's the article on the coronavirus update uh, so here's the missionary one that I linked you to on the other video I just uploaded uh, but it contains general conference changes as well told you so <laughs> So not only is uh, uh, the MTC of uh, Provo in England closed, uh, missionaries are now going to have to do their training online through an online program they developed. But uh, General Conference, the first presidency and quorum of the Twelve Apostles of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you know, the Mormons, sent a letter Wednesday, March 11th, 2020, today, to members of the church worldwide. I didn't get no letter. I'm still technically a member. <laughs> the church leaders announced a significant change to the format of the April 2020 General Conference. But I gotta click on this link to find out what it is. So let's go together. Alrighty, how COVID-19 will impact the April 2020 General Conference. Sessions will be done virtually. Yeah, I told you so. <laughs> it was canceled. Nobody, members will not gather at the conference center in Salt Lake City or at stake centers or meeting houses in areas where COVID-19 is active. <laughs> oh, did I tell ya? <clears throat> yep. Yes, I did. Old man doing new move tricks. <laughs> the presidency and quorum the twelve apostles, blah blah blah. Dear brothers and sisters. Ah, oh, they're my brother. We are deeply concerned about the global spreading of illness caused by COVID-19. <laughs> so those two guys, Mormons, who did not like the conference was going to be canceled. You guys can suck it. <laughs> we have counseled with worldwide governmental, ecclesiastical, and medical leaders and have preferably considered the current circumstances. <laughs> we want to be good global citizens and do what we can to control this contagious illness. Do what you can. You guys don't control illnesses. We are most grateful for the many who are working tirelessly to address this health hazard. They're being denied by Trump. We pray for them and for all who may be suffering. Trump purposely spread it in America. Remember when I told you about that news story? <laughs> this is all on Trump. We could have prevented it here in America, but Trump said no. We are going to infect these people as punishment for impeaching me. To help control this problem, we feel it wise to limit attendance at the upcoming April 2020 General Conference. We plan to conduct all five sessions of that conference. So far, <laughs> like I said, they'll probably have to use the little electric piano <laughs> at the conference center and we're going to have to have music playing on the thing with 
the Mormon Tabernacle Choir's old songs, recordings, general authorities, general officers and their spouses, musicians, choirs, technicians, and others will participate as assigned. Oh, I see. <laughs> the elite get together for conference. All the rest of us have to stay home. But proceedings of the conference will be distributed throughout the world via technology only. <laughs> the public will not be admitted in the conference center in Salt Lake or in stake centers or meeting houses in areas where contagion is a concern. Questions about other gather large gatherings of the church will be addressed in the separate comments, which I'll get to after this one. Because that's another breaking story for the Mormon Church. We live in a remarkable age. The Lord has blessed us with the technology. I notice it's the first presidency and quorum of the Twelve. They must have heard my video this morning. <laughs> where, where Oak said that only all of the apostles can give doctrine now. Which means Jesus... Nope. <laughs> he didn't do it with the current living prophets. <laughs> Joseph Smith? Nope. He didn't do it with the current living prophets. Book of Mormon? Nope. <laughs> and again, you guys are missing my video I did on that one. <sighs> Russell M. Nelson is more vital than Jesus. The Lord has blessed us with the technology and capacity to participate in. Well, aren't only members of the church able to receive blessings from God? <laughs> what is the world doing getting blessings and receiving messages from church leaders in all parts of the world? This special conference will commemorate the bicentennial, which I did a video on today. It's a fraud. <laughs> vision and the restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ in the latter day blah, blah, blah. we invite all to continue to prepare for this conference and do what <laughs> get an online internet service <laughs> as we do the poor will not be able to watch it now <sighs> unless the regular local channels do for Utah but outside of Utah they're screwed as we do, we will be blessed to hear the word of the Lord. What? The Lord is coming? <laughs> That's a new one. I ought to see this. Jesus will now be our final speaker for this session of conference. We invite all to remain at home and do not leave your home as you may spread the virus and kill your grandparents and participate in general conference experience that will remain not only memorable, but unforgettable. Yeah. <laughs> As, like I said, my lawsuit will shut it down, or coronavirus will. And because they're choosing to ignore my lawsuit, coronavirus is stepping up to do the job. All right, let's uh, get to the other one. Large gathering. Notable restrictions on large gatherings. <sighs> Dear brothers and sisters, holy crap, they've expanded. <laughs> holy crap. Holy crap. This is breaking news. They did not cover this on KSL 5 Utah. Uh, after considering the general council, blah, 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 uh, let's see, we will postpone, cancel, <laughs> stake and leadership conferences and other large gatherings in church areas where illness caused by COVID-19 is a challenge. They're canceling church. Did I not call it? They're canceling church. I did that video too. <laughs> I rock. <laughs> Including 
Asia, Asia North, Europe, Europe East, all areas in the United States and Canada. Church is canceled forever. I did that video. I did it. You all can suck it. <laughs> these, these temporary adjustments will take effect the day before my birthday. Thank you. <laughs> like I said, if it's not going to be done by my lawsuit, coronavirus is stepping in to do the job. Large gatherings in other areas of the world may continue, as usual, unless directed otherwise by area presidencies, who counsel with their leaders. <laughs> Why was that necessary? <laughs> They're obedient and loyal. You need to be, too. <laughs> in relation to weekly worship services, activities, and other meetings, members should follow the guidance of their local leaders who will receive direction in the usual manner. Church is canceled forever. <sighs> As this constantly changing situation develops, we will provide further guidance on this topic. <laughs> oh yes, you all owe me an apology, especially the two of you Mormons who put a thumbs down. <laughs> I rock. <laughs>